At Seeker, we consider product training a very important part of our relationship with our customers, ensuring confidence in delivering successful projects for now and for the future. We provide this by operating modular training sessions at both our Preston and Welling Garden City training academies. The phrase, fail to prepare, prepare to fail, stands strong within the flooring industry. Correct assessment of a substrate leads to the correct method of preparation, ensuring a durable bond of the new flooring system to both new and existing floors. Seeker's preferred method of preparation is vacuum shot blast. Grinding can also be used, both of which must remove the weak cement latents. In certain applications, abrading the surface can also be satisfactory. Inspect the prepared floor for any defects, cracks, holes, loose material or contaminants, for example, oil, and treat them accordingly. A must is a good industrial vacuum to remove any loose particles and dust from the surface. Our eyes will not tell us the whole story as to the condition, moisture content or temperature of the substrate. To gather this data, we must carry out some tests in line with the product data sheet. To measure the compressive strength of the substrate, we would use an instrument called a Schmidt hammer. In order to measure the surface strength of a substrate, we would use an adhesion tester. To determine the moisture in the substrate, we would use an instrument called a Tramex. Measuring both the ambient temperature and the relative humidity, we would use an instrument called a hygrometer. A handheld infrared thermometer would be used to measure the substrate temperature. If any of these measurements are outside the datasheet guidelines, this could result in poor performance, poor aesthetics, and ultimately debonding from the subfloor. Of course, not all floors are totally flat or regarded as smooth. Seeker's range of levelling compounds are designed for such floors and are essential for some resin floor systems. 